Today we're making the classic cocktail, the Buster Brown cocktail. It's got Reagan bitters. It's made in a classic coupe. Yeah! Not said. Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Welcome to Comic Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw, and I'm yelling. This is Ian Andrews, and we're going to make the Buster Brown cocktail. It would be great if you knocked that coupe, chilled coupe of water over because you were about that close. Don't make me bring up the hammer of Thor! That was almost dangerous just there, just you setting it on the thing. What, you think I was going to go crazy? I think you're the only one who can look that up. I don't know. I am. Uh, <laughs> so the Buster Brown cocktail is made by Steve. One and a half ounce of bourbon, we're using bullet. Do we have that going? I do. A half ounce of lemon juice. We're using lemon. <laughs> a quarter ounce of simple syrup, we're using the... Uh, simple syrup. Simple syrup. And two dashes of Reagan's orange, called specifically for Reagan's orange. I don't know why. I don't either. We're going to use Reagan's then? I think we should. All right. I think we should stay true to Regan's the cocktail. Is, well, Busted Brown is a pre-prohibition cocktail. Regan's is not a pre-prohibition bitter. But there's not a lot of orange bitters from the pre-prohibition time frame, so it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to do uh, a, his, a historical cocktail. I don't think I have anything in the back here. No. Um, but I did some research on this because it. Uh, Steve said this is a pre-prohibition cocktail. I'm like, Buster Brown? And apparently it's a, it's a 1904 comic strip. I yes. don't know 100%. I know it's a comic strip. If it fits what we're talking about here, they don't, the, the history, they, they, it's just, it's historically documented in, in books, but I don't see why. Like, what is, who's Buster Brown and why does it matter? Like, why did this become a cocktail? No, there's no history behind it. Hmm. Uh, but, so it's a non-cocktail cocktail. Yes, or something. Uh, so I am just going to say, well, look, you have a historic cocktail here. It's like a, probably with that. Yeah. It's like a Mark Twain cocktail, which is the same cocktail with scotch. Okay. So, it's bourbon instead of scotch, and it becomes yep. a Buster Brown. You got it. Interesting. I love that dirty water. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. That water needs to be. Uh, you must be drunk. I must be. Uh, the only explanation. The water's stale. Oh, look at those fangs. Dude, nice fangs. Yeah. Not on Mark, but nice fangs anyway. And that's a good wash line for carrying this drink. Because <laughs> we're carrying it on. far. Right there. That, my friends. The Buster Brown. It's the Buster Brown cocktail. There you have it. You'll never see that on Tipsy, though. No, probably not. It's probably too, a little too boring looking for him. Yeah, it's yeah. not enough tits. Or AS. <laughs> <laughs> That's two tipsy references tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you're just like pimping his show like he needs it. I know, right? He's paying He's me. the one with millions of people. <laughs> He's paying me. <laughs> yeah, I need to pay you more. Well, good. At least he is. <laughs> <laughs> you got black liquors in there? No, he doesn't. I do. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I don't know why. It's the... Uh, it's the Reagan's? Yeah. It's gotta be. I don't know if any anise flavor get out of a out of a bourbon. Bourbon, no. I mean that's interesting. It's really it's bourbon. It's like a bourbon sour with bitters in it, right? I mean, it's a bourbon sour with weird proportions. Yeah, it, yeah. It's it's a whiskey sour. Yeah. It's a Boston sour without um with different proportions. Cool. Oh yeah, there's anise in there, right? Is that what that is? It comes later on. Okay. Um. It's on my arm too. I should lick it. If he didn't get it on his shirt, he would have licked it off his shirt, but he won't lick it off his arm. Yeah. He's got hair. He's got arm pubes. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Herbs and caramel. Hmm. 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 Well, it doesn't say. It's got lemon. You get the lemon, the bourbon, and the black licorice out of that. And the you, sweetness you, it's just, kind of ties it together a little bit. But it's still a sour drink. That is, it is. So I wouldn't like this. It's a whiskey. No, no, no. It's too lemony for me. It, it's, it's very, yeah, it has a lemon, it's very lemon approachable. Like, it's a lemon drink um, with that bourbon, a kind of a little bourbon, oaky sweetness. Yep. It, um, to me, it, it tastes whiskey sour to me with the, with the It's not smooth enough. No, it's not. Sour. It doesn't have the same finish. No. Um, I don't know why, but it just, it doesn't. It's the proportions are off. I mean, there's not enough simple syrup in here. Maybe that's it, yeah. Um, it's light on sugar. This it's is definitely, I'm guessing, purposely done to be light on sugar and, and heavy on bourbon. Yeah. I, um, I think a little more simple syrup would balance it more, but I mean, this is a classic cocktail, and classic cocktails, I find, tend to be 
less sweet, more spirit forward, more spirit forward, and uh, a lot of times they have a lot of citrus and bitterness to them. I find. Yeah, I think you can curb some of that off. It would probably create a more dry cocktail, but if you added a little egg white to it, like a quarter ounce egg white, which sure. is a pain in the ass to get out of there. A quarter ounce, yeah. Well, you pour a whole ounce yeah, or so. Take, or three I, mean, I don't think you can limit it a lot of times. It's no. just take an egg white. Right. And egg, egg white in there. You can get different size eggs. So you can get the egg, egg white from a medium egg versus a jumbo egg is going to be Don't big use difference. a jumbo egg. No, not unless you, you make use a double. Yeah, you use a small egg. Or I, you can I use jumbo eggs. I like a good jumbo cocktails. egg. Uh, but I like a good double cocktail. <laughs> that's true. I always take a double. <laughs> and I, but with the egg white, what it would it would it would kind of pull some of that astringency down. It would But it would still leave that dryness in there, which may or may not yeah. be good. Yeah, but lemon know. and egg whites tend to work pretty well. They really do. They're all on. Um, Rang. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess that would be a meringue. It's a thing. Well, uh, a meringue is just egg white sugar beat up, and then you put that on a lemon pie. So, lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Oh. That's Cooking with like. Ian. Hmm. I, I don't know. My mom used to make meringues. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you have the soft meringue, and then she'd like take the meringue and then she'd make bake a hard it, meringue and she'd out make, of it. Like, cookies, meringue cookies out of them. They're really yeah. good. Oh. I've never asked that. Have we asked what's your favorite book before? That's a good question. I don't think we got an intellectual. Question of the day. What's your favorite book? What is your favorite book? You must have one. Everybody has one. Jennifer's favorite book is Girl Porn. I love Girl Porn. But that's not you can't. What? Girl that's porn? just the category. Oh. Category book. Yeah. It's like you know. Fifty Shades. No, it's yeah. harder core than that. Oh, okay. More anal. You've so never like, even read Fifty Shades. So you like have no idea. Sixty-two I, you've Shades. Told me I've heard. <laughs> she, is it, like, I don't need to read it. You've said it before. Um, <laughs> I liked the uh, the series of books by Robert Asprin called the Myth Series. I thought they were they're small. You can read one in like a few hours. That's and they're fun. Really entertaining and really fun written. I don't. Did you ever like, read those? I don't think so. I'm not a big fan I got, of I, short stories. They're not short stories. They're like a couple hundred pages, but. They're really good, and I, I can never put them down. But the thing is, when I when I read a really good book, yeah. I don't want to... Well, the great thing is, there's end. like ten of them, so it's like reading a really long book. But they're all, are they all continuing? Yeah, it's all the yeah. same characters and everything. I'm going to bring really... you I'm gonna bring you the first myth book when I come over. Like a physical book? Yeah. It's <laughs> really, I'm gonna read one really of those. great. You, you turn I the page. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Listen to a Bob Seger song, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I read... Well, well, I read in the dark... Um, Don't. I, I have a Kindle. I think Bruce Paper Springsteen White. would advise against that and say that you should dance instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, my book of choice. Um, I'm going to have to stick to. I'm going to have to go with Lord of the Rings for now. That's no, a great classic book. I I hate going with Lord of the Rings because I feel like everybody it's would like. Yeah. yeah, but Wait I, really I bring like you it. Uh, oh, the I, myth books. I, I, I'm reading a series You're of books now, them. which is really good. I just can't remember the author's name. I really liked Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I like Catcher that. in the Rye, really? Yeah. When I, when we to had Kill a Mockingbird was a great book. I like that. I didn't read that the, one, I don't think. The, but I the, like the, 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 the Songs? No, no. Oh, we're going classic books. I liked East of Eden Sword. by John Steinbeck, which many people would find extremely dry and dull, but I always liked Steinbeck's straightforward style of writing. Mm. I always found him very descriptive and very engaging. Well, the guy I'm reading now is the author for... There's a Wheel of Time series. You remember the Wheel yeah, of Time? Yeah, uh, Robert Jordan. Robert yeah. Jordan. Well, Robert Jordan died. Yep, yeah, so did Robert Aspirin. <laughs> I'm sorry for Robert Aspirin, but Robert Jordan died, and the guy that I'm reading the books for took over the series for the last three, two books. Okay. Is he doing good? I don't good know. Good night, I like that book. But I, I, I haven't read those books, but I've read this guy's books, and I went to see, because there's only two in his series right now, right? So I went out to go find the rest. I'm like, oh, there's only two. That sucks, because there's going to be ten. And I, that means I hate reading books where when I get to the end of the series, i got to wait for the next one to come out, because they have to wait for them to write it. It takes right. forever. Like um, Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I like, that's why I like Netflix. You just watch the whole series. Yeah, it's great. Uh, but when you get to the end, you're like, oh. So I went out to look at his books, and he had these books in the Wheel of Time series. I'm like, what the hell? And it turns out the other guy died, and he took over the books. So I was oh. like, oh, so you know he's going to be pretty good. If that guy who wrote, like, 14 books or whatever was like, hey, you should take over my series because I'm not going to make it. And he does it. That's how you know you have a good author. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I would give you those books, but they're on my Kindle. And they're that big if they're not. They're 1,000 pages. I know. And I have two of them. You're not talking about the Wheel of Time, you're talking about the other books. No, I'm talking about the other books. The so Wheel of Time's about the same, though. There's probably, yeah. like, 2,000 pages worth of books in the, the Myth series. Because it's probably like 10, 15 books. That's what's so great about it. Kindle. They're it's so the same size and weight every time. I know, right? And you can read on the beach. That's it! 
Uh, classic Hoop cocktails. Uh, classic, classic Hoop cocktails. Glasses at awesomedrinks.com along with the shakers and strainers. And Probably one of our best selling, is that our, one of our best selling glasses. Oh, you can get your regular glasses too. Right now, Collins glasses are selling really well because it's summertime and people like to buy the nice tall, spritzy summery. Yeah. You can do your uh, highballs. These drinks. are good in the winter. A lot of people Those buy glasses. these uh, year round, but I think more, yeah. more on these the winter. These are good for cocktail parties and whatnot. They're very classic. Yeah, and now it's like all about Collins and Tiki's. Yeah. Makes tiki sense. Tiki tap, tiki tap, tiki tap. You should get some of those, uh, you still got some of those Grateful Dead tiki's, don't you? No. No? Are they all done? They're all gone. I Sold. My way Miss, one of our Miss fans Trump bought the Kennedy. last ones. Those things are great. I think it was bushy. No, I don't know. No. Anyway. We're done! I screamed. So we're definitely yeah. finished. It was in like Australia or something. We sold it to Australia. Sorry guys. Go buy the other tiki's. We got Victor's <laughs> in stock. Do it now. We'll teach you how to drink! This is really badass. Yeah. It was he, was here, gonna he said fall. he was going to send it to you. Yeah. yeah. But I totally I'll forgot this right. because that's where that goes. What? That goes in here when we're done. That was that a great was idea. That was not a good idea. <laughs>